Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick um, kind of fit recipe. You know, you want things that, especially after the gym or after working out, I'm always telling people, you know, you have to eat things with lots of protein, lots of carbs, lots of vitamins, things that just really kind of just replenish and make your body recover. Now, a lot of people think that I'm doing really complicated recipes when I do that, but most of the time, not to lie to you, I'm doing things in one pan so I don't have to clean it, and I do it within literally five to ten minutes. I don't want to spend more time in the kitchen. So it's all about getting good flavor and good nutrition in really quickly, and it's really actually very easy to do. So I've got one pan going here, a little bit of olive oil. So when I cook with olive oil, I always try to make it maximum one tablespoon. So that's really good fat, but you don't want to put too much fat in your diet either. So um, balance is always very key. A little bit of garlic. This is just because I'm Filipino and that's where the flavor kind of comes from. This is just a really basic fried rice. So when you're making fried rice, you're not burning the garlic. You're just kind of getting it to really release all its aromas. And once that's happening, you can go ahead and add the garlic. The longer you wait, the less pungent the flavor. So I like my garlic rice to be kind of very pungent. After a workout, I recommend usually 1.5 cups of brown rice. A lot of people leave it at that, but it's also really important to kind of season the rice. So a little bit of salt, a bit more oil, and you just want to make all that come together nicely. And if it's pre-cooked rice, like what I'm using today, what helps is a little bit of water just to bring back some moisture to the whole dish. And don't worry about this because the water will just dissipate out. Alright, my rice is pretty much ready. So we're going to go ahead and keep that to the side here. Now, in that same pan, again, a little bit of oil. Remember, we have, remember, we're allowed to put about one tablespoon, so just one more teaspoon in there. Now to this, I'm going to add just some beautiful chicken thighs. I love using chicken thighs because they're full of protein, but they also have good fat in them, so you have all that beautiful chicken uh, taste as well. So these are really thinly cut, marinated in some gochujang, which is a Korean red bean spice, and then some garlic, obviously, and some onions. So you want, you're looking for about 200 grams of chicken after a workout, or 200 grams of protein in general. Since these are really thinly cut, they'll be very easy to cook all the way through. Once that first side is cooking, we're gonna add some eggs. So again, eggs, high in protein, high in good fat. A lot of people think that they're too high in cholesterol, but the truth is it's full of good cholesterol that your body actually does need. So I'm gonna go ahead and place three eggs into my bowl here. Some salt, a little bit of pimenton, which is a nice smoky paprika-ish. And then just to kind of bring up the classical French in me, um, some spring onions or some chives, whatever you want to add in there. I can already smell that the chicken is pretty much good to go, so you can go ahead and flip it. You want those beautiful char marks, because that's where all the flavor comes from. Once the chicken is cooked, we can go ahead and place that into our bowl as well. And using that same pan now, we're gonna cook our eggs so you don't have to add too much fat in there because the chicken was just cooked. So you're gonna cook it in the fat of the chicken. And how I like doing eggs is while it's in the pan, I actually like kind of just stirring it so it cooks really quickly. The idea here is I want the eggs to be creamy without necessarily having to add any butter or cream in them. So by moving them like this, it just really kind of creates that environment where the eggs can get nice and soft without overcooking any part. So by moving it this way, every piece of egg that's in there will basically cook the same way, which is very important. All that gets placed into our bowl as well. And then now just to finish everything off, so just some nice pickled red onions that I have here. I love adding onions to your diet. They're actually full of all the good stuff. And by picking them in some vinegar and some lemon juice, it's really easy to just get big flavor out of a whole dish. So some pickled onions right in the middle there. And then just to up the fat and the vegetables that we have a dish, I'm gonna put in just one avocado. So I'm just gonna scoop it out. Give it a quick slice. That gets placed in there as well. A little bit of salt to top everything off. Some more of my spring onions and some chives. And just because I love spicy food, some sriracha goes right on top. 
and you've got your perfect one bowl power post-workout meal. So I think I need more power and strength to actually eat this power meal. So you know what time it is, right? It's morphing time. Tyrannosaurus! Wow, that was more phenomenal. Now to eat this power meal. Uh, wait, how, how did they, how do you eat through this? I, how do you, how do these people eat? Like this is, I hate being a Power Ranger, I'm so hungry. Hey Erwan, are you done with my morpher? 